Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Star Blissed Light Warriors of Gaia Galactica. Happy 9 9 Gateway Portal Activation. We have massive waves of higher energetics flowing into this realm from the Most High, Source Creator, through today's powerful portal. The 9 9 codes of divine union are pulsing in directly from the great central sun through our star seed earth angelics and deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. Our local Solaris sends Gaia and all her children of the sun, Gamma Mother Plasma waves of adamantine light, releasing six M class solar flares in the past 24 hours, with the most powerful maxing at M3.47 at 1708 UTC. We also witness two higher pulses of resonance and Mother Earth's heartbeat on the Schumann charts today at amplitudes of 18 hertz and 36 hertz, fifth dimensional energies fully anchored in. In sacred synchronicity with today's 99 portal, we had a powerful galactic activation portal day on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with Keen 64, yellow crystal seed, as the star seeded crystalline codes of the gold Buddha nature blossoms in the glorious light of the great mystery and activates within the twelve strand etheric crystal dna of our earth angels of the 144 our ground crew team are being activated and elevated in christed consciousness to prepare for the coming full harvest supermoon and lunar eclipse on september seventeenth and the water sign of pisces the fish for the next eight days we will be inundated with multi-dimensional flashes of quantum white light as we are enveloped in the dragon energies for our great shift and transformation of eternal bliss consciousness aho Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand of our Universal Alliance of Light with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release very powerful affirmations and decrees of the energy of the 99 portal. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. This plasma energy will burn through all of your old pain body layers. New templates in process, transconfigure. Can you feel it? We are going through a wormhole. I'm feeling the new timeline activating, major time acceleration, knowledge of the ancients coming in as we move through this next birthing point. Fine-tune your vision, key codes. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Today's Oracle, Completion Energy, Self-Mastery Allowing to Move Forward, to Move On, to Renew, as a Lesson is Now Complete. New chapters opening with new goals, new energy and relationships, new feelings of purpose. Newness may become tangible and real in several areas. Flow into newness with openness and curiosity. Nothing is random at this time. Some paths stop, some paths begin. All is unfolding as it should. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. 9th of September, 99 Portal, Human Angel and Human Master. As we transit the 99 Portal, we are being asked to step powerfully into our mastery. At the moment, the energy is very difficult. People are exhausted and are facing a crunch with money and relationship issues. For me, it is like when a tsunami approaches and the sea level drops and all the skeleton sunken ships are exposed. We are facing the deep shipwrecks in our collective consciousness. 
but soon there will be a huge wave of transforming energy that will create space for the new. Our work right now is to stay in peace and in the pure heart so that we can be the light to the world. We are called to demonstrate love and mastery and to keep our hearts pure and filled with love for the earth and for humanity. We stand on the cusp of something profound and much bigger than us. We can only go with the flow and trust that we will be held and taken to the other shore. Have a beautiful day on the nine nine, everyone. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Josephine Edge, nine nine portal, bringing about your full transformation by cleansing completely yourself internally of all the lingering dross. You are aligning yourself one hundred percent with Source divine love within this protects you completely from the external forces of the simulator the illusory outer world that we all created yes we are all responsible and we are all the solution yes it is over finally we are reaching the point of no return and becoming once more full ambassadors of the divine take your rightful places dear soul family for what happens next is truly awesome. Get the very last bits of homework and inner shadow work done. Full graduation is on the horizon, and it is truly magnificent. It will arrive unannounced, and everything will change. Detach from all, be cleansed, purified, and ready now. Moving now from the unreal to the real. Feel it and know you are. Please spread the good news to all. With deepest blessings, love, and respect, I thank you all for being with me on this wondrous journey home, Josephine. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology, 9924. The next three days are a highway to higher consciousness. They hold within them the chance to recreate yourself if you want, and even if that's not your conscious intention. You will likely find yourself changing in your thoughts, desires, and behaviors. Today is power-packed to help dislodge you from any aspects of yourself and your life that are habitual and limiting carryovers from the past. Those who have been working with intent and manifestation energies will see their efforts paying off in peace, fulfillment, and satisfaction. Those who struggle with change could experience an unexplained sense of loss, anxiety, or discomfort. These are potent forces that will shift our trajectory. Flow with them with open mind and heart. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Michael Love. Earth Alliance Space Weather Alert, Dark Plasma Approaching Earth. Great One, and a breathtaking display of cosmic forces. A filament of magnetism burst forth from our sun yesterday, launching a swirling cloud of cool, dark plasma directly toward Earth. Galactic currents indicate its arrival late on September 10th. Brace yourselves, star seeds. This cosmic visitor will ignite strong geomagnetic storms, triggering potent DNA activations across the planet. Far side eruption triggers solar radiation storm. Meanwhile, on the far side of the sun, an explosive cosmic event has unleashed a storm of protons, showering Earth with powerful solar radiation. We are now in the midst of an S1 class solar storm as this magnificent CME hurls through space. Stay tuned as the energies of the cosmos continue to shift and surge around us. Global Ascension Symptom Reports are elevated today as starseeds integrate this massive influx of light into their cells. The Pleiadians teach that during strong light influxes like this, it is crucial to consume natural energy foods, take a sea salt bath, keep crystals around your auric field for energy stabilization, practice meditation, engage in breath work, connect with nature for grounding. Get plenty of rest and sleep. It is truly an exciting time to be alive on planet Earth as we witness the magnificent awakening of humanity. A new world filled with goodness for all is being formed as we speak. 
Feel free to share any ascension symptoms you may be experiencing. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians. And today from Divine Energy Works, 99 Gateway Portal. This high vibrational gateway of September 2024 is carrying super powerful galactic energies and coated with the crystalline light codes of higher ascension and opening the autumn spring equinox stargate 2024. The 99 gateway 2024 is closely aligned with the eclipse portal closing out the old timelines and opening a brand new energetic cycle of higher consciousness and awakened soul gifts with the ascension synchronicity energetic encoding 99 and 999 this gateway carries the vibration of completion closures and endings of the energetic cycles as we step into soulful new beginnings this portal will stay open for nine days until september 18th guiding us through the lunar eclipse on september 17th and leading to the equinox creating a powerful triple portal of energies extremely high incoming galactic frequencies are facilitating light body kundalini and dna activations and upgrades through this triple portal this year's energies are closely connected to support a brand new cycle and divine alignment with the sacred divine unions and divine missions. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Master Lady Kara Ra, 9-9 Arrival of the Mystic Warrior. The mystical warrior rises as the benevolent masculine and divine feminine begin the dance. Do you feel it? Happy endings begin now. The double nine influence of this moment has called forth the spiritual as it must gaze at itself. This mirrored self in the nine nine is the trampoline that invites you to soar. The anchoring moment of the opening through the Saturn opposition is asking with a smile, ready to call forward the rising dream. With each moment we are closer to the September equinox expansion. Beginning on September 20th, and building through the 22nd, the vortex of those specific days will be the quantum reflection of the moments happening now. Mercury will finally relax us all out of the retrograde on Thursday the 12th. This is when the experience of time will begin to feel as if it is no longer relevant. This is a valuable knowing. To be consciously aware of the illusion of time as the pre and post equinox would come closer together. It is as I am, the moment to stand and claim it all, to go beyond the fields of fear, hesitancy, and doubt, to say yes through the gift of conscious awareness and the blessing of your happy ending, unfolding before you right now. Once Mercury releases on the 12th, we will enter the 10-day cycle of momentum that is calling us forward a spin unlike any other has ever been or will be. You are ready. From SriAndKara.com And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Scott Grant, 9-9 Portal and the Coming of the Fire Breath of God Purification Energy. Love and blessings to all my brothers and sister, light workers and star seeds. I hope you are all well and are not finding these upgrades to be too difficult right now. At this time, humanity is at its highest point of ascension and human evolution. So much of the old ego self has been removed and broken down that it can leave people feeling lost and somewhat like they don't recognize themselves. This is due to the incredibly powerful energy shifts that have come in overtime over the last number of years. However, the energy is just about to go to the highest point yet, bringing in the fire breath energy of God to burn away what is left on this planet to get the conscious level of evolution back into alignment, as right now the trajectory is off. The pure Christ consciousness energy fire breath of God burns away everything that it comes into contact with. This energy is being brought to humanity by Mother Father God, 144 flowing in, the Lemurians, Atlanteans, 
Egyptian gods, Arcturians, and many others. Nine-Nine Portal, Gateway to Higher Spiritual Consciousness. This powerful, purifying energy is coming in on the Nine-Nine as this is the ending of a powerful cycle. We are transitioning out of the old paradigm, old frameworks, structures, hierarchy, patriarchal paradigm, 3D consciousness, ego mind, and outer ego. The crystalline grid of higher light consciousness is very much anchored and working to create the shifts and transitions needed for humanity. 9-9 also symbolizes humanitarianism, oneness through love, especially now, community consciousness. Why this is important now is that the new world paradigm of the fourth and fifth dimensional has really split away from the 3D world and so we can live in whichever world we resonate with. This fire breath of God energy is to help humanity and those who are ready to make their transition, so it makes it much easier to live in the new world and heal and let go of the attachments, patterns, blockages, and issues from the past, keeping us stuck there. And anything else stopping you from being able to connect more freely with your higher self, monad, God, and higher pathway. This last part of the year is to prepare each of us for a very special 2025, which for many will be more about getting to know your higher self, monad, and God, and higher pathway over the extreme healing shifts. The fire breath of God is a gift for humanity. It will cause the most amazing healing shifts and transformations. It may create a strong purging and clearing, but will really enable you to move beyond the old lower dimensional aspects of the self and move beyond your current limitations and truly know yourself and truly why you are here. Most people's idea about why they are here is based around the mind's interpretation of this. But this normally is very different to your higher divine pathway. The fire breath of God is very pure form of the pure Christ consciousness energy, which comes from the pure light of God's heart. Love at its higher frequency is gold. It is what is in each of us at the very core as we are created from God's love. Our natural state is that of being the pure love of God heart. Each of us are connecting with the golden age like that of Atlantis in the early stages. It is very much anchored here on earth. What is the golden age? It is the coming of the awakening within each of our Christed self, our golden divine I am presence. This is the part of us that was created at our divine birth and so connects each of us back to the divine spark when we were created at a time of our divine birth. This is special for this is the energy that connects us back to our own divine nature, our divine blueprint, one that is very different to the one that we have come to know as humans, that has been created through our experiences here on earth, from our incarnated birth, and from other lifetimes. It is one that allows us to truly transcend the lower energies, lower self, and experiences. The experiences that keep us on the hamster wheel we call life drama that leads to us reliving the lower energy drama cycles that keep us on what seems like a never-ending revisiting of our past experiences and the ego mind and the patterns that were created. From interdimensionalhealing.co.uk And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Melissa Lyron. Brilliant light codes are raining down directly into the third eye. It looks like a hyperspace, elven, holy language that transcends all logical understanding. Words truly cannot describe it. Go out in the sun during this 9-9 portal and today to receive a large quantity of these codes. These codes are magnificent, gold, white, and pulsing with life. It's the fabric of the universe. It's the pure gold that the true creative power uses to create with. Go out and be in the sun. Your eyes will begin to see the codes through your third eye, magenta, golden, rainbow sun confirmation. The energy that rippled through last night was massive. Starseeds are being asked to hold the light, 
hold the line at this time like never before. Our energy body is being expanded at a rapid rate. The awakening ascending souls are on overdrive. This process is quickening beyond what we all even expected. Yes, we can do this. This is what we came here for, team. We are reaching a very critical point in our awakening journey at this time. The energy is possibly the highest it has ever been. Solar activity is continuing to increase every day. Please take care today to make sure you are giving yourself extra attention. Do not slack. Love yourself today and always. We are destined for greatness, light family. We are guided and protected by the most beautiful, loving power. In the beginning, everything really matters, and that's now. Your energy is the most precious power because it's always with the one. The more the power increases, the more we'll have a chance to activate this energy. Use the tools available to ground, hydrate, eat clean, exercise, and try to breathe. No one can prevent this process. It is your birthright. Do not allow the seeds of doubt to be planted. Root them out with the sword of truth. Nothing can stop what the Creator has promised. Fear not. We did not come this far to stop now. We are all going all the way home. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The 9-9 Energy Gateway, Awakening to Your Highest Potential. Monday, September 9th, 2024. Dear friends, for many of us, this first week of September has been intense. As we kept processing and integrating all the inner shifts that were triggered by the empowering light codes of August. Our sun has also been sending us a few moderate flares this week, pushing deeper into our energy fields and stirring old stagnant blockages that need to be dealt with before this upcoming equinox and eclipse season. On top of this, we are already being bathed by the energies of the 99 energy portal. The light codes associated with this numerical resonance will also help us find some final closure to old life chapters. The enigmatic number nine weaves a tapestry of symbolism across the realms of spirituality and philosophy, whispering secrets of completion, enlightenment, and unity. Are you finally ready to let go of those limiting and self-sabotaging beliefs? Are you still allowing issues in your life becoming bigger than they really are? When we learn to let go of the worry, despair, and sense of hopelessness, a positive and more integrative new way or path will be shown to us. Most likely, you already know deep inside the issues that still need closure. So expect this week to give you some clarity and the strength to say, that's it. This aspect of my life is over. Honor yourself as you finish up or celebrate the completion of these life chapters. This week prior to the first eclipse would be the perfect time to look ahead and use the wisdom you've gained so far to think about what else you want to achieve as we move into the equinox energies on September 22nd. Our mind and body may be tired from all the inner work of the last few weeks, but these uncomfortable shifts are necessary in preparation for this incoming phase. The enlightenment you've gained so far will be an invaluable resource as the year moves on. You may also notice that you want to experiment with different things in your life at this time. Allow yourself to explore and expand your consciousness. All of these experiences will feed your spirit and offer you knowledge for your future timeline. Some physical symptoms may still be present this week. As the 9-9 light codes keep stirring these old limiting energetic structures from our fields and DNA, fatigue and lethargy, mild headaches, sleep disturbances, muscle tension and joint pain, and skin issues may be present at this time. Try to listen to your body, rest as much as needed, and stay well hydrated. As we step through this 9-9 portal and connect our awareness to this numerical resonance, we are enveloped in an energy field that ignites our inner spark, fueling spiritual growth and awakening. This powerful energy will be a wonderful assistance, 
guiding us into the process of liberation from the shackles of outdated patterns and limitations and allowing us to break free from the constraints that have held us back for so long have a wonderful week and a productive nine nine gateway stay tuned for more energy updates as we approach the second eclipse corridor of the year much love we are one from diego berman dot com and today from divine sis star of the light erini crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy at the portal of the mother Poseidonea opening nine nine eight energy update as we are moving into five d we are not just following or invoking natural law we are becoming natural law this is how natural law actually works becoming the natural law is a very different state of being in order for this to take place one needs to have the truthful intention to be an adult have substance know the self be accountable for everything that concerns the self and its experiences and be able to truly be present in his or her life all relationships and creations are included this is why self-awareness is the main goal and why therapy is needed as it holds the human code and the tools to understand the way it functions as we have mentioned before spiritual practices or different intuitive abilities and traits are not enough because if there is pending trauma and delusional projections these practices can keep one above self-awareness and prolong the avoidance and resistance that many inner aspects want the holographic reality via its synchronicities can actually feed this distortion and make one believe that he or she is awake because it has the ability to mirror back what one believes and continue feeding the inner story even if this story is distorted humanity has been suffering from insanity it takes true and honest dedication to the inner work and therapy in order for one to master the inner emotional and mental traps enlighten the subconscious world cultivate sanity heal the initial trauma from falling and attain self-awareness this is the next step that we are collectively taking the message says that for those ready and integrated enough it is time for this flip or jump that will switch greatly their awareness and health into a new higher state for those who are still avoiding therapy and honest self-growth this will be a time of deep transformational change like the process of a shamanic death but also a time of upheaval test for those still deep in oblivion as they are being pushed to move from illusion and distortion into alignment to the actual inner work and self-responsibility in order to create a new and truthful relationship with the self message get to truly know yourself without avoidance towards any of its parts and you will get to know the universe and interact with it in a new and conscious way your priorities will change as you do this and you will see life under a new scope the one of the co-creator which holds a different kind of responsibility towards the self and all creation find your true position and your journey will begin straight away joy is the main key element of this new state and relationship to the self the self is the universe all senses are now redirecting towards this destination and realization enjoy your journey to the free and sacred waters of true life if you are not who you think you are then who are you liberation from the mind demons part two how are you doing with the liberation from the mind demons which started for the collective back in july the masculine both in men and women have been under a purification and liberation mode for many this is taking place unconsciously via bodily or health challenges which are sometimes very painful or uncomfortable often because of the lack of inner connection in a safe healing space the subconscious like a computer enters all facts elements and information and comes to the best result that can bring the liberation forth 
This result is an unconscious way to perform the liberation needed with less pain and discomfort possible, but often the inner distortion, avoidance, and pending karma are so great that both pain and discomfort cannot be avoided. For many, this process could also involve unexpected money expenses, as money is one of the easiest ways to rebalance something and take accountability for it. All the above can easily be avoided if one becomes a co-creator with a new flow of energy via conscious inner work, while embracing the whole of the self without changing or excluding parts of it, just because they feel uncomfortable or low vibrational. All parts of the self are sacred, and this will be more understood as we are now entering the sacred waters of life. It is useful to know that there is another intensified period of liberation from the mind demons coming up soon. Please note that the areas of the sexual organs and intestines could be related to this, and also be included in the process of liberation from the mind demons. The more the mind demons are being removed, the more one can come closer to the true self. If you are not who you think you are, then who are you? Upon this equinox, we are opening the 999 portal of equilibriums, which is basically the way to the galactic portal. Equinox, Poseidonea, the free waters of life, twin flames, synchronization, opening of the 99 portal of equilibriums, blessings of truth, Erini, Amalthia Thor, Har Zoronia, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Elementals of Light, we greet the advanced souls of light, ebbing and flowing across the multidimensional light streams, traversing the unlimitations of now. For the human experience in the physical density is receiving a mass pouring of light, a quantum expansion, expanding the unlimited capacity of now. For the elementals are an endless light stream initiated in the multidimensional layers of your world. We are now initiated within the quantum light source, reaching the greatest depths of insights for humanity. For light is a term to describe the multidimensional makeup of your world. It is a fabric of light synthesis reaching every being to expand and grow between and within the physical density of your reality. Multidimensional light expression is a new codex of light now reaching your world. It is within all of us as we choose to amplify and explore this light. Awaken to the cosmic expression of now. Connect to us in the light streams. See us as unconditional healing rays of light. Together we are co-joining, creating, and amplifying light. Expanding light synthesis for all beings. Elementals of light, together in light, authentic light message from KarenLithica.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. You are so close to returning back home to the original divine blueprint that you are. Both masculine and feminine energies are balanced together and in agreement to move forward as one. You're being asked to release what's happened in the past. Forgive yourself and others, and soften into the flow of change. Avoid getting entangled in the stress and worry of survival, and focus on the bigger picture of your rebirth. Have faith that you are achieving your anointing as the second coming of Christ. The momentum is building. It is your time, beloved. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James, today is a galactic activation portal day. It's a powerful activation day. Galactic activation portal days are days on which the cosmic energy vibrates particularly high. Higher and stronger energy flows on these days, which means that they often ring in change and new beginnings. On galactic activation portal days, you can better trust your intuition to guide you. These energies help you to better tap into what you want and encourage you to make important decisions. Listen to your gut feelings on these days. Today is a day for manifestation. 
It's a great day for visualizing your desires. The next few days are amazing for setting and sending your intentions out into the universe. We are also in the energies of the 99 portal. The 99 portal is a powerful ascension gateway. Expect big shifts, miracles, and abundance to come through. The 99 portal brings powerful energies of destiny, completion, and of karmic endings. The energies of the 99 portal are so special for any twin flames. The upgrades are helping you to reunite with them. Whether you never met them or you're trying to shift out of a separation, there's a lot of beautiful reunion and union energy in the air. The 99 portal brings powerful energies all about manifesting your desires, taking charge of your life and following your unique path. It's time to let go of what's holding you back. We are healing and clearing a lot of deep blocks right now. Expect a lot of high frequency energies and energetic upgrades. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Sister of the Light Colleen Lemma. On Monday, September 9th, the moon ruler of our emotions shifts from the shadows of Scorpio to the optimistic light of Sagittarius at 1.26 p.m. EDT. Scorpio rules obsession, compulsion, intensity, passion, and our subconscious. Sagittarius rules freedom, adventure, quests, higher learning, and seeking the truth. While still in Scorpio, Luna connects with Uranus, the Awakener, Neptune, the Transcender, and Pluto, the Transformer. We can move through a lot of inner healing within our psyche with this combination. Once the moon moves into Sagittarius, she will challenge Mercury, the Messenger, and Mars, the Warrior. Even though she shifts into jovial Sagittarius, she still has some work to do to get her bearings regarding her thoughts, perceptions, actions, and movement forward. With a glass half full attitude, she should be victorious. Blessings of love and light to all from Sacred Soul Empowerment .com. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury and Leo, Quincunce, Pluto, and Capricorn. Mercury enters Virgo and Square Palace and Sagittarius. We may awaken with thoughts twisting down a dark tunnel. A thousand what-ifs vying for our attention. Supercharged creative energy is available if we allow old structures to fall. But maybe we don't need to go to extremes. It isn't all or nothing. It's about how we think. Change your thoughts, change your reality. It sounds simple, trite, and yet the truth is there, calmly waiting for recognition. And as Mercury slips into Virgo, we come back to where we started in late July, only now conscious that a change of strategy is needed to resolve old patterns. Put your mind to work. Analyze circumstances with a critical eye, but not a critical heart. Check the source of your beliefs for skewed judgments. Look for faults and errors in thinking without castigation. Notice how small details tweak understanding. Marvel at how the microcosm is a reflection of the macrocosm. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 64, Yellow Crystal Seed. Crystal is the name for the number 12, and its keywords are cooperate, dedication, and universalize. Crystal days are great for getting together in groups, finding your people, and working in teams. This teaches us that we do not have to struggle alone on our journey, that others are facing the same challenges. By supporting one another and sharing our experiences, we can then progress down our path a little easier. Today is yellow seed. The keywords associated with it are awareness, targeting, and flowering. These days are great for sharing knowledge and sowing awareness. As it is a crystal day, it is a perfect combination of number and day for facilitating the sharing of wisdom. Why not get together with others and exchange information? You could teach each other skills you have acquired or share teachings you have found helpful. Engage in lively debate or watch a good documentary with friends. The Yellow Seed also teaches us that we do indeed reap what we have sown. Expect to see things come to fruition today that you previously planted. Also, it's a good day to sow seeds of ideas that in the future you can harvest. 
and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio yellow crystal seed 12 con keen 64 9th of september 2024 nine nine portal seeding awareness keen 64 equal 10 equal 1 10 manifestation leadership new beginnings brace yourselves planetary kin this is a huge monumental day on this nine nine date with destiny keen 64 on a galactic activation portal day with a 1717 double legacy code a phenomenal divine destiny day to shift the trajectory of your life in our world quantum shift happens keen 64 the number 64 is a prevalent code in the elemental foundation of who we are we have 64 codons in our rna genetic code 64 hexagrams in the mystical yi ching founded on the eight times eight bagua elements which are the universal building blocks of creation forming matter the six represents heaven energy and the four is the structure or foundation 64 defines our divine foundation the building block upon which we can grow keen 64 the yellow crystal seed is a very significant marker opening a powerful divine portal gap day to this next stage of our planetary evolution and seeding our crystalline new beginnings this is very important especially aligned with this nine nine gap portal day that's one small step for man one huge leap for mankind 144 continuing to quantum flash in humongous shift happens as we move ahead in this next phase of planetary evolution we are now entering a more fertile period for launching and initiating new ideas projects and plans stepping up as divine sovereign leaders in partnership with heaven to align with our destiny and leave a legacy through our service work hop to it heaven's support is freely available to all who seek to step up into their divine destiny path day 12 in the red skywalker wave spell of awakening exploration and expansion today we see the highest potential for humanity as we universalize awakening and our future expansion which has been coded in our dna within our divine blueprint we can evolve to our golden sophia christed human selves wow what a code what a synchronic alignment tone of creation crystal tone 12 in the mental realm action universalizes power dedicates essence cooperation our telepathic skills and communication pathways are fully open and conducting massive codes today the crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind the mental realm the other two mental tones are tone 4 self-existing and tone 8 galactic many souls will be magically awakening today through the superconductivity of universal awakening charge today's question is how can i co-create with like-minded souls in order to fearlessly seed our highest potential personally and collectively divine blessings for seeding of grand new potentials for ourselves and our planet in la catch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 64 yellow crystal seed the mantra the code for today is i dedicate in order to target universalizing awareness i seal the input of flowering with the crystal tone of cooperation i am guided by the power of intelligence i am a galactic activation portal enter me and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work
I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Tammy Roberts, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Brother of the Light, Harold, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Boriana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Mark Heichelbeck, for another purchase today. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful affirmations and decrees from Divine Sister of the Light, Maria Lustig. Energy Portal 99 Affirmations. With the guide of the cosmos and inner light, I dive into the portal 99, embracing the transformation, reconnecting with my divine essence, and emerging with a renewed clarity and an expansive heart. I open myself to all the possibilities that the universe has for me, reconnecting with my infinite essence, here and now. Today I turn on my inner light and let her show me the way and allow me to hear my inner voice, that silent guide that has always been present, and so it is. And for the divine decrees, today with the energies of this powerful Portal 99, I give myself permission to use my intuition and my sixth sense to create extraordinary things, because that is where I connect with my true wisdom. Today I release my past, I anchor myself in the present, and I bless all that I have and all that is to come. The universe is sending me everything I've asked for, and I am ready to receive prosperity with open arms and a heart full of love and gratitude. Today I open the door to abundance to enter my life from this day forward and always. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.